So we're going to have a look at Bernie's Diner in Kaikoura. Apparently a good little car museum out the back. There it is. Have a look. There we go. Wow, look at that lot. I can't believe how many 50s American cars in amazing condition are in New Zealand. They're everywhere, absolutely everywhere. A few British ones at the end. Right, videoing's gonna be a problem because there's music in the background and they'll rip it up for copyright, so that could be an issue. I'll try and do it between. I've seen a lot of these Camaros, Camaros, whichever way you want to say it. Chevy Bel Air. Massive fins, now look at that. Fins you'd cut somebody in half with if you drove past them in a hurry because they stick out further. Yeah, that's the best back end, big old whale tail on it. We've got the spiky one, if you reverse into a tree you get stuck on it. I'd love to own one of these, I don't think I'm ever going to afford one, but it's on my list of things I'd love to own. Austin 1100, had lots of these. Learned to drive them, those when I was eight. Sudgy, we called it. Little soft spot for these. Had one a few years back. Great little car to run about in. And every museum I've been to, every scrapyard has got a Bambino in it, as they call them in New Zealand. That's a great color scheme, the roof. What's in a bath? There's the boot lid sticking out a bit. Not really. Most of the baths I've ever known, 
have the bootwood sticking out a bit just to let it cool down a bit. We used to make these at the old garage I worked out. We flare the arches out, which use old radiator panels, and we flare them right out. The middle Barton garage that used to do a lot of fit. Beautiful little car that. Really good with those wheels on. Moving to a beach scene. Nice bit of patina on that one. I do love surface rust, don't know why. Long board on it. Another red cell. I have to educate myself on American cars. Never really seen many before I came here. You'd see them, but not in so much in museums. Cool little light robin tractor. Grader. Alice Chalmers. Must be a relation to Judith Chalmers. It's the same colour. Now, I've said that before somewhere. Where's, oh, when I bought the Princess of Richard. He's got a load of these in his shed. There's another one. Another red cell. Sheriff's car in America it was. Spotlights and twin mirrors. I'd love to own that one. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's probably my favourite car in this yard so far. What's that one? That's made by Charles W. Nash in Knusha, Wisconsin. Make Nash. A Nash DeVille, perhaps. Shannon New Zealand renamed themselves Zed, which isn't great timing with the uh, Ukrainian war. And the Russians also called themselves Zed. So that's what they've done. Lost an A40. Probably have the rustiest front wings you're ever going to see, but that one's an actually really good nick. Proper nice 70s colour as well. Still a lot of these caravans in New Zealand on the road. I was following one on the way here, doing 60Ks in a 100K an hour area, but they're still in use, they're still everywhere. I like them. Got one of these at home. Got the wheels for it anyway. Is that the Model A? No, Dodge 4. Funky looking tractor with an Allen Scythe type thing on the side. That's a Model A. I wouldn't mind having a Model A and a Model Y. I've got a Model Y, haven't I? Model T, that was it. Model T, Model A. I've got a Model Y at home. Just to complete it. Every museum's got a Viva, as it should do. Wouldn't mind another Viva, actually. They're pretty cheap. One of my favourite cars in the world. I have one in New Zealand. That exact colour, that exact make, that model, and the same age. I end up demolishing Derby at Waikaraka Park. Came fourth out of 112 cars. Nice colour. Really nice on the wings. Interior's good. Yeah, could have this one's brother. It was probably in the factory at the same time. Turbo on it as well. Yeah, A60s are my top five favourite cars of all time. Very underrated classic. So I think ex banging drivers and current banging drivers that seem to own them and really cherish them. That's because we smashed up a lot of them. Ford, look at that. Like a big Vauxhall, but it's a Ford and a Chevy. Beautiful beet maroon colour on that. Look at it, that's a gorgeous colour, almost metallic, but it's not. There's got a hint of it. Here. Now there's a fellow where I live, actually in Whitney, he's up on these forever, he called it Green Onions. I remember we used to see it at every classic car show when I was little, and he took it to a classic car show a few years back and it was like reliving my childhood. Slightly lighter green than that. Another one. I reckon there's more 50s good looking Fords in New Zealand than there are in, in England. The classic car scene here is immense. And up to a really good standard as well. All nice cars. I could do that to mine. That'd be pretty cool. Take Lottie out for 
holidays and went to the countryside. Not too cool, Tina. Is it a 600 i I'm guessing it might be. Oh no, it's the GTE. Yeah, it's one of those in Hamilton at uh, Richard's place. At Peter's place. Sorry, Peter had one of those, didn't he? Yes, he did. He had lots of these as well. A bit like Peter's place, but with shiny cars and music. There you go, Andrew. That's how yours could look if it wasn't so patinaed. I think I prefer yours though. Not a split screen. I've driven yours, I did like it. Same back lights as yours, look. Zephyr. Craig had one of these, I think Carsonson. Not as good as this, but he wants a grand for it. It's not a bad looking car. So if you want one of these to restore in New Zealand, I know there is one, it's reasonably priced and it's pretty solid. Thousand dollars gets you one of those. It's all complete in there. A lot of patina on it. Uh, S type. I have actually got one of these on the wall at my house. We use it as a stage prop. We cut it in quarters. It was rusted out. Yeah, pretty impressive. Lots of American stuff. A few British ones, which are good. One Italian. Got some massive, cool cars. I'm going to have a nightmare with YouTube with the background music, but otherwise, that's nobody else's problem but my own. It's a fantastic museum. And you drive straight past, you wouldn't notice it. So, if you can Kaikoura, come along and have a look at this one. It is very good. Harmond Classic Car Museum. Last one. Now this is apparently a Mazda. It looks suspiciously similar to that Holden, but the way it worked was Mazda and Ford and Holden, I guess, had a bit of a deal going, so they had to read bad stuff for import purposes. I know they used to call the Mazdas Fords, like a Ford 323, which called a Familiar. It was Mazda 323, which called a Ford Familiar. But yeah, it's not really a Mazda, is it? I know it says it is. Well, Japan knew, but it's a Holden body. Bought into Japan for import. Government officials, are extremely rare cars, many were crushed. Never heard of one. There you go, that's a bit of history. Probably the rarest car in here. Beautiful car too, but made in Japan. I don't know how you feel. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Doing a fashion show at the end of it. Brilliant.